He's one of the world's leading authorities on the subject of mind power and personal mastery, as well as a highly sought after international speaker. And he's here in New Zealand for some very special shows with best selling author John Coey. Welcome to the cafe, Mr. Robin Banks. Thank you. Good to have Thank you, you here, my friend. Thank you. Um, look, uh, straight away, I was reading about you. Very diverse background. We're talking construction, we're talking sales. How did you end up with the mind power buzz? Well, uh, funnily enough, I, up until the age of 25, I had no idea what my true calling was. And uh, so I did construction, I was in sales, I was doing many things, which I enjoyed. But it was only at the age of 25 that I found my calling when I started working for a youth leadership program, ah, interestingly. Right. And from the moment I stood up in front of about 100 kids, I was doing some presentation on something, I realized that I had a natural ability to speak, engage, entertain, keep people focused. And so that's how I started becoming a speaker. It was only about five years later that I started doing Mind Power. So the first five years was actually youth leadership work. How does one get started? If, you know, somebody's watching right now at home and they're thinking, okay, what's the first thing I should do to embrace using a Mind Power for good? So, what I'd like to say is I was listening to one of your earlier shows um, and you were speaking about going to the gym. And most people know how important it is to be physically fit. Mm -hmm. But I think it's even more important to be mentally fit. You've got to be sharp. And in order to be physically fit, you need to work out or you need to do some form of exercise in order to stay physically fit. The exact same principle is true of the mind. Right. You need to be very conscious of the thoughts you are thinking about because what you focus on is what you attract. What you think about is what you will bring about. So what I always encourage people to do is become super conscious from the moment you open your eyes in the morning. What are you focusing on? What are your thoughts? It's going to be an awesome and outstanding day today. Ah, oh, Monday, I hate my life. <laughs> By saying that, you've already set the tone for your day. Right. Yes. So I invite you to not just, because mind power is not positive thinking. It's a practice, it's a discipline, it's something I do every day. I do 10 minutes of mind power, like you work out, I can see, you work out thanks, regularly. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and I work out, but more importantly, I believe it's important to work out in your mind. No, that's a really good point, because I guess part of going to the gym is forming that habit. So once yeah. you've formed the habit with your mind, then it becomes easier to do, and it just Absolutely. becomes part of your daily life. Absolutely. Well, you know, that there's that old saying that your mind is both your best friend and your worst enemy. True. Now, everybody knows that, but what does it mean? What it means that your mind is your best friend is when you can get your mind to think about what it is you wanted to think about. Oh, it is your best friend. It'll manifest the things you focus on. But your mind is also your worst enemy. Because if you don't take control of your mind, your mind must think thoughts. Its job is to think. So I invite you to become conscious of what it is that you think about. Become conscious of what you think, make it a habit, give yourself a five to 10 minute process every day where you really take some time out to go into your mind and really become conscious. What am I wanting in my life? What do I want to think about? Let's talk success stories. What have you had? Give us some success stories. People have come to you and it's changed their life. Well, obviously the one that most people love is money. Yes, so, <laughs> you're true. I mean, and, and anybody who says they don't like money, I'm like, it's okay, give it to me. But, uh, <laughs> because I love money and money loves me. We've got a good thing going on. But your beliefs about money create your reality. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of my students have become financially very successful. So those, I've got many, many stories on that. But I think the ones that touch me the most are the personal stories, the personal victories, people who have healed themselves of cancer. Uh, one of my students came running up to me in a shopping mall once and she says, oh, Robin Banks, oh, because of you I'm pregnant. And I said, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but she and her husband had been in fertility clinics for six years. Wow. Six years, Mike. Within two months of doing my mind power course, she fell pregnant. Brilliant. And while I was speaking to her, she was pregnant for the second time. So it wasn't luck. Wow. Your thoughts literally create your health. They create your finances. The life you are living is a direct consequence of the thoughts you are thinking. You literally are creating your own reality. So what I always say to my students is your life is the way it is because of you. Nice. Oh, people don't like it. Right. Because, well, I don't like the way my life is. I'm like, actually, that's great then. Change it. Yeah. It. Nice. Okay, cool. And speaking of change, uh, you've got some tours coming out with John Kehoe. John Kehoe. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kehoe. So, and, and, you know, what do you love about him and why should we come along and the see him? The man's a legend. Right. Uh, John wrote the book Mind Power into the 21st Century, which is this book over here. Mm -hmm. And he wrote this book in... Uh, 1988. Wow. It shot to the number one bestseller in New Zealand within 10 days, which was amazing, and that's a true story. It sold over 3 million copies around the world. I'm a student of his. I did his course 
in uh, 1999. I read the book in 96 and it was such a huge impact. I did the course, quadrupled my income in one month, true story, quadrupled my income in one month. Wow. Uh, and that's when I realized I'm really sitting on a gold mine because the scope and magnitude of the mind has never been measured. We just have to learn to use it. I did the course with him and it was amazing. 2003, he gave me the sole rights to run his program, which is a huge honor. And for the first time ever, and I'm really excited about this, John and I are going to be doing a Mind Power Weekend together. It's called Mind Power Quantum Leap, because I'm teaching the traditional Mind Power, the old solid stuff, and he's teaching his new stuff on qu quantum mind power. Wow. And so it's a weekend seminar on the 10th and 11th of March, and I'm very excited to be there.